guys, welcome to day three of the 100 Days of Making Comics Challenge. Uh, for those of you who've just joined me, uh, my name's Chris, I'm an illustrator from Melbourne, and this is my daily video update for the 100 Days of Making Comics Challenge, as I've just mentioned, uh, where I spend 30 minutes a day working on my own personal project, Monkey Junk, uh, the comic, to create a good habit in comic making and to hopefully finally see this book uh, finished and out in the world uh, whereas it's just been sitting under a big pile of paper waiting to be drawn but I've been too busy with other things so this is me making a really strong effort uh, so last night was definitely a bit different than the, last, the first couple of nights where I just went straight into the comic book making um, sketching out the pages getting the rough layouts and everything done um, for those of you who did watch yesterday's episode, I was talking about how I wanted to do a little bit more sketching of the main characters just to remember um, how to draw them. I also wanted to do some changes, some updates to them. So for those of you who did see the original pages of Monkey Junk uh, last year, the characters have changed slightly, although not a whole lot. Um, just a few different changes uh, here and there to sort of match their personalities a bit better. Um, and my style sort of changed a little bit over the year too, so it just sort of matches within that a little bit more as well. So I thought I'll just spend the night doing that. So uh, after we got uh, April to bed, which was a bit late because uh, she was a bit cranky yesterday. I think she had uh, skipped a nap or something. So who knows? Um, regardless, uh, it was a late start to the night. So we chucked on Guardians of the Galaxy 2 because that's on Netflix and that's an awesome show. And I just got the sketchbook out, so I actually went out to my studio, uh, which I showed you the other day, um, and found a couple of old sketchbooks that I never finished, some A4 size ones. So in particular, this one, which I got last year when I left my old workplace, that was a gift from my friend Talia. So thank you, Talia. Um, I had used this for a bit, um, and I did find some sketches in one of my other sketchbooks, which had a ton of monkey junk stuff. So I want to show you guys first the original monkey junk uh, imagery, just sketches and stuff from the sketchbook. And then we're going to show you on this sketchbook what I did last night. So I did roughly an hour's worth of work in the duration of watching the movie. So I was kind of sort of back and forth watching and drawing and watching and drawing. So I did a couple of pages worth of sketches. So um, I'll show you guys what I did. Uh, first, I'll show you the old stuff and then I'll show you what I did. Okay, so this is the sketchbook which I found him in, which uh, I'm pretty sure I bought this one at the beginning of last year. So around the time of January, because there's a lot of monkey junk stuff in here. And I actually started monkey junk, I think it was around February last year. So that would explain why there's a bunch of sketches in here. There's some other stuff in here too. So I suppose let's just consider this a bit of a sketchbook tour until we get to the monkey junk stuff. Um, this is just me practicing some watercolours, doing some general sketching. This is my made up wizard from Harry Potter. So Flavarius Delicious and he makes a uh, cupcake. Anyway, that's besides the point. We want to get to some of these characters. This is actually um, a rough sketch of Abby, just sort of plain normal Abby. Keep going, keep going. Okay, so these are some of the preliminary ske preliminary sketches that I did of Chris P, um, or his full name, Chris P Bacon. Um, so this is you know, some notes of me talking about who he is and what he does or you know just ideas of what he could be and this is a really rough idea of what I want him to look like which is very much a throwback to the Danger Days characters from the My Chemical Romance album and also the comic book that they released which coincided with that. Um, these are a few more. So once I came up with this design, this is when I really decided that I wanted Chris to be a full-fledged character in the book. And you can see here I've sort of redrawn his outfit a little bit, giving him shoes and his gun and everything like that. Keep going. That's just some more random stuff. A couple more sketches of Chris, getting to understand the character a bit more. More sketches of Chris. You can see here there's some um, Scott Pilgrim stuff here because I was sort of really vibing the Scott Pilgrim look when I was doing this comic. Some more Chris. And then this one I drew Geordie. Coming up with ideas for Geordie and how he looks. Now, I think originally I wanted Geordie to have a dog and then I changed my mind and came up with this little dude here called Bopo. Um, so you can see here a few different character ideas. So you've got Chris here, Geordie... And this was actually one of the original designs for Abby. This is a character that hasn't even 
been seen yet I haven't really spoken about called Sprocket. This is Sprocket's little robot guy who I don't like and he will be changed anyway. Uh, and then Bopo. And Bopo hangs out with Geordie here. So as you can see, like there was a fair bit of stuff done. More Geordie there. Different ideas. Playing around with the ideas of having like different cheek colours. Um, some more Abby stuff. And again, like you can see her hair wasn't finalised here. Her sword wasn't finalised. But the idea of the outfit sort of already existed. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go, coming into the life and space ideas. More Chris stuff. Just playing around with different emotions and things. I think some of this was actually drawn during a sketch session. Um, where are we playing around with weapon ideas? So this is when I was actually drawing life in space and coming up with the different characters, different weapons that they would use within that comic book, the spaceship that they would fly, etc. And there's some more stuff at Abby. There's a bit of uh, Sherlock Holmes. Um, and there, this is a bit more of a finalised version of Abby where she's got her roller skates and her little bag. Um, and I was playing around with some silhouette ideas as well. Just to actually see what they look like in silhouette form. If they'd be easy to recognise without actually having to draw the characters. Um, I know there was a reason behind that. This is actually me coming up with some different logo ideas. Back before I was sort of a real graphic designer, so I've got some better ideas now. And more sketches. This is actually a concept here where I had the idea where uh, Bopo can become like this full giant monster that Geordie actually rides. So that was a cool, fun little idea. And that was it. This sketchbook never actually got finished. There's, you can see some watercolors in here, a lot of pages. So this will be finished one day. But what I'm going to do is work on this sketchbook here, which I was just talking about. So now we're going to do with this sketchbook. Let's fill this guy up first and then finish this guy. The paper's quite different. This is a real sketchy, um, rough paper, whereas this is quite a nice paper for watercolours and such. So I'm just going to stick with this one for now. Now, from what I can remember, there's actually not a lot of monkey junk stuff in here. There's some logo designs, and I think this is a website or a flyer idea. Um, there's some random stuff, playing around with the guards that are going to be in Monkey Junk. Potential new characters, but not a whole lot. Some logo designs for a friend, a little bit of an Archie and Jughead. And then we should come into what I did yesterday here. Alright, so this is me mucking around with like a new logo idea, which is very much inspired by Dragon Ball Z, if you couldn't tell. So this is the new Geordie design. Geordie's got a bit of a haircut, he's grown up a little bit, his clothes are pretty much the same, I've swapped out his uh, sweater for a three-quarter shirt, um, otherwise jeans, Chuck Taylors, um, and the backpack. Uh, so I came up with a design, obviously on the iPad the other day, but this is really what I'm happy with, and then this is me just playing with a few different facial expressions, um, a little bit of closer look at his shoe, the bag, and the logo that's on his shirt, which currently has no significance, but I want that to tie in to something down the line. Um, these ones I didn't actually get a chance to ink, uh, but this is some stuff I did for Abby. So this is me playing with a new body shape for Abby. Now, as much as I like it, I don't know if it's going to fit in with the comic style. So I'm sort of trying to do a bit of a, as you can see, the legs are a little bit fuller here. So I'm trying to play with an idea where she's still got that hourglass shape, but the long, skinny arms and legs, much like Geordie has. I think that suits my style a little bit better. A few different facial expressions, and then looking at her bag. Um, not a whole lot got done, but still fleshing out ideas. And I'm going to be doing a lot more, but this is... Because I wasn't really happy with this, I still want to play around with all of this. Um, also, here you can probably see that she's got a um, large pigtail, which runs from the back around to the front. I don't know if I liked it. I liked the idea, but I just feel like that big, buffy long hair that she had uh, in the original comic works a lot better. So I don't know how far the redesign is going to happen. Even just a slight change to the face. This used to actually be quite straight, and now I've sort of cut it in here where her cheekbone comes out. It makes a big difference. And then here's me just growing Chris. Just a couple of little sketches. So, um, unfortunately, again, I didn't get to ink any of these, but I'll probably play around with these tonight a little bit more, do some more development, and show you guys those. So, yeah, that's what got done last night. Um, actually had a pretty big day today, so I'm going to update on that tomorrow, um, but I don't want to 
Yeah, that's day four, so I um, don't want to jump ahead, um, but I'll update on that um, tomorrow for you guys. Um, but yeah, that's what I got done. Really happy with what I achieved within 30 minutes to an hour um, that I spent on it. Um, and I hope you guys dug it. And I hope you guys dug the sort of impromptu sketchbook tour. All right, I'm out for day four. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Goodbye.